Hi guys, in the previous lecture we have learned the page structure and the attributes. I have tell you how we can define our page structure. So here I have already created the page structure. This is the body and this is the head. Here I have give the title for this work because we need the page structure in every lecture. We need the page structure in every web page so that's why i have created the page structure already so in this way our time can be safe and now in this lecture i'm going to teach you the paragraph heading comment how to give the paragraph in a web page how to add a heading how to add a comment how to give the different format to the text how to add the quotes so let's start first of all here i'm going to give the paragraph so for this here is the paragraph tag to insert a paragraph we have to write this paragraph tag first of all write the angle brackets then p and then we have to write its closing tag we have to write angle brackets then forward slash and then p so in this way we can give the paragraph tags paragraph element and now in between these two tags we have to place our paragraph so here I'm gonna copy a paragraph from the Wikipedia I'm gonna copy this text here it is and now here is the paragraph and now here I have already opened this file in the browser here you can see that here is the file 5.html so I have already opened it so our time can be saved so here you see that the paragraph is inserted so now I'm gonna increase its lines here paste it so now this is a big paragraph and it have so many lines but here you see that this paragraph when we render uh, when it render in the browser so it have only five lines but in the editor it have more than ten lines so what is happening here I want to tell you something that when the browser start executing this paragraph so browser does not count the new lines that is given in the editor that is here that is here is the another new line that is here so these new lines are not counted by the browser browser add the new line whenever it needs here you see that the screen is full so that's why it add the new lines if we want to add the new line at any space so how we can add let's say we want to add a new line at this space that is on after the on and now here I'm gonna check where is the on here we want to add the new line here or anywhere here I'm gonna add it after the less so we have to write the tag to add a new line here we have to write br and it have just its opening tag it have not the closing tag so here you see that the new line is added so if you want to write here forward slash then it will be okay both things are fine so in this way you have to add the new lines as many as you want here if you, if you want to add another new line so in this way you can add it here it is another and the next thing is horizontal rule you are also able to add a border inside the text or anywhere you can add a, just like a simple line so we can in the programming language we call it horizontal rule and here I'm gonna add the horizontal rule for this we have to write the horizontal rule tag here is the HR if you write the forward slash then it will be okay it is not necessary so here you see that a horizontal rule is added a line is added so the next thing is how to add the headings you have already know many websites are using heading like this this is a heading this is a heading so now I'm gonna tell you about the headings here is after this here I'm gonna add a heading first of all we need to know something about the heading the heading have the separate tags for the specific font size and the 
font weight so first of all I'm gonna apply a heading tag who have the biggest size so here is h1 so if we write here udemy so now here let's see what happens here you see that a heading is added but if you want less size less font weight here is h2 it starts from h1 and goes to h6 h6 is the last this is my c cleaner so let's execute it here is the h2 and in this way you can write all of these here is the h3 i'm going to write all of these h4 and here is the h5 and here is the last one h6 here is the h6 and here is the h5 here is the h4 and here is the h3 so here all of these headings are present so in this way you can insert the heading and my next thing is that i want to teach you is the comment so what is the comment the comment is just used to describe the code it is just used to add the detail of the code and the comment is only added by the programmer it is only visible to the programmer it is not shown on the web page like we don't want to show the extra things on the web page anybody don't want to show the detail of the code or the text on the website because everybody want to show the necessary things on the web page so here i'm going to write the detail of this code here i'm going to write this is a little paragraph you can write any detail you can write the author and the detail uh, created date of the paragraph or anything so now let's execute it so here you see that this detail of the code is shown on the screen so to save from this condition what we need to do we have to put this text in the comment tags here are the comment tag this is a starting tag we have to write angle bracket exclamation sign then two minuses and then at the end of the comment here is two minuses and then the angle brackets so in this way in between these two tags you have to put the comment and now let's execute it so here you see that this comment is not shown on the screen so now it is visible to the programmer edit to by the programmer and edited by the programmer so the next thing is formatting we are able to give the different format to the text here I'm gonna show you what is the formatting here first of all here I'm gonna write any text let's make a website and now here first of all if we want to bold this text so what we need to do we have to put the bold tags so the text is become bold here you see that this text is bold here i'm gonna make this headings in the comment then you can see this clearly here is this here you see that this text is a bold otherwise it look like this and if we want to make this text italic here is the italic so now here is the italic so this, here i'm going to zoom the screen so here you see that this text is italic tilde it and here if we want to show an important text so we have to put the strong around this text here it is it's just like a bold and if we want to show a deleted text or removed text so we have to write del you can put these tags as many as you want you can use these tags as many as you need in a website and now here is the deleted text and the next thing is emphasize it is also used to show an important text here is emphasized 
and here is it is just like italic and now if we want to insert a text we show we want to show that this text is inserted so here is the text it have the underline and if we want to highlight the text so we have to write mark here is the mark so now text is highlighted and here if we want to make the text small so we have to write small here is the small text it have the less size as compared to this text and now here I'm gonna put some other text before in that after it so you can understand it clearly here it is here is a space and now let's execute it so here you see that this text is big that is after and before it but the middle text is small and the next thing is subscript so what is the subscript subscript so when we put the subscript so what happened now the text is shown in the baseline of the line or as compared to the other text here you see that this text is now in the base and if we write superscript we have to write sup s u p and now the text is shown on the top here you see that it is on the top so in this way you can give different format to the text and the next thing is code how to insert a code in the text here I'm gonna remove this here I'm gonna copy a line from the above paragraph and if we want to show any code in the web page then how to do this here what we need to do we have to write Q tag before and after it here is the Q tag so now here you see that this text have the inverted commas before and after it so in this way you can show the code but here another thing that is block code if we want to show a complete paragraph that is quoted from another website so how to show that the block code is just used to show the text or a section of a content from another website that is copy from another website here I'm gonna increase these lines here is these lines so now here I'm gonna put block code so now assume that this text is copy from another website here is block code so now here you see that this text is shown as a block code and we can identify the block code because it have the space on its left side and on its top it is the space and now you can also give the site reference here you have to write attribute site and you can give the link of the site from which site you have copy this block code so here paste it so in this way you can give that link so this is the block code and all the things and here I want to tell you about another thing that is the abbreviation abbreviation is used in almost every website uh, what is the abbreviation we have put uh, a very long word in a small code and then we have put it abbreviation when we take the mouse over it its abbreviation is shown to us here I'm gonna show you first let's see here we have put HTML so now let's execute it so now when any person visit our website so he read this paragraph and he did not know the meaning of the HTML so how we can know the meaning of the HTML by using the abbreviation here what we need to do we have to write a double b r that is the tag of the abbreviation and now here we have to put the title in the starting 
tag here is title and then equal and here I'm gonna put it in the next line and in the title we have to write its meaning complete letter what it stands for here is hypertext markup language it is the abbreviation now save it render it and now anybody takes the mouse over it so its abbreviation is shown to us so thank you for watching this video if you have any problems so kindly add the discussion on udemy in my course i will see you in the next video thank you for watching this video